Hi everyone. Welcome to Marine Wisdom. So from today we will start to upload some educational content in our YouTube channel. Okay. So from the start we'll start from Marpol NX1. Marpol NX1 stands for your regulation for the prevention of pollution by oil. Now as you all might be aware Marpol NX1 is one of the most important topic whether you are at a college level whether you are going for MMD exams or also for your general knowledge this is a very frequent question also asked in some company interviews so we'll proceed with this the questions we'll discuss in this is the discharge criteria for Marpol NX1 what are the various special areas in marpol nx1 and the most important one it's a very common question being asked in exams difference in discharge criteria between inside and outside special area okay so let us begin so currently what you see on my screen this is as per your regulation number 15 of marpol nx1 So all the content which you see on my screen, this is sourced from all authentic sources, Marpol official documents. Okay. So first of all, we'll see the discharge criteria outside the special area. So what is that? They say that all chips of four hundred GT and above shall be prohibited. Means they are not supposed to throw any oil. or they should not throw any oily mixture until and unless they meet with following five criteria so that is called as a discharge criteria so what is the first point the ship is proceeding en route when i mean en route it should be on a planned voyage or i can say on a course it should not be doing circle like this like this on the same place not that it should be on a following a course next point the oily mixture is processed through an oil filtering equipment this is nothing but this is the oily water separator what you know generally meeting the requirements of regulation 14 of this annex so we can just simplify it and we'll write it it should be processed through an approved oil filtering equipment Yes. So let us move to the next point. The oil content of the effluent. What is this effluent? Effluent is basically nothing but it is the outlet of the oily water separator. Means after the treatment, the outlet of the oily water separator which is coming out, that is called as the effluent. The oil content of the effluent without dilution. Does not exceed fifteen ppm. Ppm here stands for your parts per million. Okay, so dilution means that you will not add water in that. After processing, you will not add water in that. Just reduce the oil content. Just to bypass the sensor. That is not allowed. Point number four and five; these are both related to your oil tankers. So, as you know, in oil tankers we have got pump room. The pump room will have some bulges, so you cannot take suction from your pump room bulges because this oily water separator is only and only meant for your engine room, machinery spaces. okay machinery spaces bulges and you should not mix oil cargo residue also along with that so what is these cargo residues after you empty the tank the remaining residues which are left of the cargo that is the cargo residues now i know it is difficult for you to remember i also faced difficulty when i tried to remember initially that is why i developed a code the requirement of for remember it this discharge criteria is only you should know 
ए बी सी डी ई अल्फाबेट्स फ्रॉम ए टू ई सो विल ट्राई टू सी इट ए स्टैंड फॉर योर अप्रूव्ड सो वट वी से अप्रूव्ड दैट योर ऑयल फिल्टरिंग इक्विपमेंट should be approved okay it should be an approved type oil filtering equipment next two points you see you can see oily water here mixture so b stands for bilges which bilges we are talking about here just now we saw pump room bilges so the oily mixture should not originate from your pump room bilges C stands for cargo. Which cargo? It is cargo residues. So the oily mixture should not be mixed with the cargo residues in case of oil tankers. D D stands for dilution. So what we saw that the oily content of the effluent should not be more than fifteen ppm without dilution. That is what we saw. Yes, fifteen parts per million. Next point is E. E stands for end route means ship should be on a planned voyage. So we have finished the discharge criteria, and in this manner you can remember it. Now let us proceed. What are the special areas in your Marpole Annex One? So these are the special areas, but for this also, Marine Wisdom has made a code for you. What is that? Here, there is a Bollywood movie named as Munna Bhai. Munna Bhai MBBS. This guy is a circuit. He is the Munna Bhai. So we'll just write Munna Bhai MB. M stands for Mediterranean. B stands for Baltic. Now circuit is wearing which color shirt? It is black. So black C. He is wearing which color? It is red. So red C. these people are circuit and munna bhai are looking at the gulf people they are having a lot of money and money gave them the happiness oh see they have got so much of money so these are gulf people so we have gulf area and gulf of aden okay fine so this way you can easily remember six special areas so we'll proceed now initially in the previous slide you saw the discharge criteria outside special area currently i will teach you inside the special area so what is here again 400 gt proceeding and road approved oil filtering equipment does not exceed 50 ppm without dilution c cargo pump room bilges cargo residue so what is the difference between both this is a very common question being asked okay so this is a very common question being asked tell me the difference in discharge criteria in special area and outside special area you can pause the video go back and try to compare both try to find the answer okay so i am sure many of you might be in this situation okay i'll tell you what is the difference the difference all lies in this small word 14.7 this is what the people are looking for when they ask you this question okay so we'll try to decode what is this 14.7 so what it says regulation 14.7 which requires both what both a 15 ppm bilge alarm that is the one thing and a stopping device that is the second thing so these two are requirement when the ship is in the special area which will ensure that the discharge is automatically stopped when the content goes more than 15 ppm which content oil content okay so let me make it more simple for you when the ship is inside a special area okay when the ship is inside a special area he should have a alarm whenever the value of oily content goes more than 15 ppm and same way we'll have in outside also but what is the difference in case of inside special area whenever the content goes more than 15 ppm it will automatically stop the discharge overboard 
so the discharge which was happening that will be stopped automatically so this is the main highlight here it will have a automatic stop okay so this is the requirement now let us proceed so when you give this answer in orals make sure you use the word 14.7 because that is how they are asking you when you say automatic stop is compulsory in special area okay that is good the moment you say 14.7 that is what will leave a lasting impression fine so that is i'm done with this uh, topic for today i would be very grateful if you could like share and subscribe the video and the channel and you can also post in the comments the further topics to be taken or you can make some suggestions in which way we can improve thank you